Hello, everyone. Again, I greet you with the words of the Lord Jesus. Shalom Aleichem. Peace be with you. In looking at the news these days, I see that we have had an uptick in cases of the coronavirus in the country over the past couple of days. In reading through some of the background material, it appears that most of the uptick is due largely to persons who are in their 20s, not persons who are older. I suspect it means that persons who are older are probably taking better precautions. Persons who are younger uh, may not view that as being as serious as it could be. My suspicions are is that that uptick will probably not involve a corresponding spike in the amount of fatalities simply because uh, persons who are younger generally tend to fare better with it, but it's not a guarantee. As one of the experts once said, you're still better off not coming down with it in the first place. So we should be best to be on our precautions to practice good hygiene, to keep social distance, to wear masks, to avoid large crowds. I think that's one of the things that persons in their 20s and perhaps 30s, uh, believing they're invincible, you know, decide to ignore those warnings. And now it seems that more and more of them are are coming in contact with the virus. What sorts of attitudes should persons take on in regards to uh, sickness and illness surrounding them? It's not the only, this is not the only generations that have come to grips with that sort of thing. Uh, Not long ago, I I came across words that uh, the theologian Martin Luther had written to a friend and colleague of his, Uh, the Reverend John Hess, who was living in Silesia at the time. Uh, These words were penned in 1527, almost 500 years to the time that we're living now. And Luther had some interesting advice vis-a-vis his own experiences. And he writes to Dr. Hess, I shall ask God mercifully to protect us. Then I shall fumigate, help purify the air, administer medicine and take it. I shall avoid places and persons where my presence is not needed in order not to become contaminated and thus perchance inflict and pollute others and so cause their death as a result of my negligence. If God should wish to take me, he will surely find me. And I have done what he has expected of me, so I am not responsible for either my own death or the death of others. If my neighbor needs me, however, I shall not avoid place or person will go freely as stated above. See, this is a God-fearing faith because it is neither brash nor foolhardy and does not tempt God. I thought that struck a good tone, uh, that we don't take undue risks, that we do not tempt God, we become neither brash nor foolhardy, but do the things which are prudent and reasonable, doing all that we can within our power Uh, to avoid being negligent and avoid being a harm to others. I would hope that as we move into what this next phase is, whatever this next phase is, is that we would continue to act with prudence and diligence. Uh, We are not out of the woods yet by any stretch of the imagination. So that involves us staying the course on social distancing and good hygiene and the rest. Until we have a chance to meet again, Shalom Aleichem, peace be with you.